made in Portugal again. Last up in the what expensive bib shorts did I buy is the Rafa Pro Team training bibs. I don't know what the other Pro Team ones are, whether they're just the Pro Team something or other. I went for the training. Well, they do Pro Team and Pro Team training. Basically, yeah. slightly better fabric, I think, on the Pro Team, but also a slightly better price, as in a lot more. I'm not worthy of Pro Team. I just kind of like I pretended I was training with the Pro Team. That's why I went for the Pro Team I'm training. I'm not a physique for you. Fit, protein fit, close to the body. I don't know if I've ever had a pair of bib shorts on Lycra bib shorts that have not been close to the body. These are protein fit, high stretch. Yeah. With a little comfortable compression on them. Size wise, again, I'm standard large. These indeed are the large size, no issues with sizing as normal on the Pro Team training ones. Leg grippers, again, different model to the both the Core and the Classics. Thinner, not quite as deep on the Pro Team ones. And rather than having a bit of material with fully covered in whatever bits of rubber, they've got the little spaced out, these little bars. But I'm guessing they've sussed that out and they seem to do the trick. So again, different leg grippers on across the range of Core, Classic and protein, whatever floats your boat. Leg length, I think these are pretty one. I think you can get me different ones. I'm always going for the regular. I don't really like the longer ones. A waistband height, the controversial bit. Again, I think we'll try on in a fit. These were, I found a little bit too high up. But again, might just be my imagination of that. Material, as these are pro team, more technical fabrics. I'm sure there'll be a different makeup when we get to it. Again, partly recycled. We've got 74% recycled nylon, 26% elastane. That adds up, doesn't it? 74 and 26. That is, that's 100% there on that one. Made in Portugal again. The home of the best bib shorts. Breathability wise, these are also, have got that kind of mesh feel about them along the straps and the back with just a little bit of logo widget in between there. Yeah, so a different, different chamois compared to the others. This is the protein training chamois, a single density protein training pad, moisture wicking, antibacterial sheet on top. I'm sure I've already said that about the classics, but so they tell us this is a different pad. Graphics wise, <clears throat> again, we've got a different graphic compared to the others. What do they call this graphic? If that the others is kind of like the classic Rafa logo, this is the Pro Team logo. Just in case you find it difficult to read the old little Rafa signature logo, this spells it out quite clearly what bibs you're wearing. And we also little get just again, in case you're unsure, get the old same Rafa logo, Pro Team training logo on the strap. And big thing about these, look at that, get a little reflective strip on the side of the legs for that little bit of extra added safety, mate. That's a little tabletop review of them. Let's get them on and see how they feel. <sighs> Rafa, pro team, training, bib shorts on. Oh, nice fit. I think, you know, I feel a little bit more compressive, but not tight through the legs. Quality Lycra, you feel quite comfortable in the Lycra. Gripping wise, so we just looked at the classic grips and I would admit these ones are better in terms of actually getting, sticking onto the legs. No gaps, can't really get my finger up there. So I think in terms of the leg grippers, these are nicer. Breathability wise, yeah, we've got our straps there. These have got a slightly different design compared to the classics and the core. In terms of the back panel, you, you don't get the wide ones with the uh, oval cutout. You just got that, but again, I think that's all right. Comfort wise on the pad, again, it's quite a comfort pad. I've never had any issues with this. Or oh, now, big thing, waist, again, the issue for me, probably not everyone's issue, maybe, just mine, it does have the high waist. So again, the belly button test, it's over that. So it's much bigger, much higher up than the classics, similar to the cores. Uh, and it's not something I particularly like when you're on your bike. It just comes up too high for me. And I don't like the feel of it. It feels a little bit restrictive around the front. And lengthwise, I think these are slightly shorter than the classics. I think you can get these in two lengths and these are the regular ones, not the long ones. But yeah, overall, I must admit I quite like the training ones with the main exception of the high waistband. Being a personal preference. It is all personal preference. And there we go. 
So to wrap it up, three different types of bibs, core, classic, pro team training, all have slightly different characteristics in terms of fit, breathability, comfort. Pro team has a different chamois compared to the other two. Waist, that's a big one for me. Price-wise though, quite interesting when I looked. Don't know, oh, I will admit that they are quite pricey. Well, the core ones, you might say are reasonable. Core ones, which are, you know, to be the competitive ones. Oh, let me see, I should be able to ching. Here we go, I can tell that because of the waistband. $130, or in your UK poundage, 75 pounds. I don't know if I've ever any bought any Rafael bib shorts, but they're not in a sale. Uh, so I'm not sure I've ever played top dollar for them. Here was the interesting one when I looked up. Classic, next ones, $260. Whew. Which in our good old UK poundage, 190 pounds, Jesus. Because that is even more expensive than the training bibs. $210, 150 pounds. So 40 pounds difference between the training and the classics and the classics being more expensive. Again, I probably wouldn't buy any unless they're in a sale. For me, mm, see I'm a little bit torn. The overriding factor for me is that I, the waistband thing. I just don't like the high waistband of the Pro Team. I will stick with the Classics. However, I don't think the leg grippers on the Classics are the best of the range. I think the Pro Team ones are much better than that. There we go. Three different Rafa bib shorts. I know the ones I would buy. Classics. Let me know in the comments what you would go for, even if it's not Rafa, if there's another brand, especially if there's a brand to do the old low mankini style pair of bibs. Do us a favor, hit the like button on the video, smash that subscribe button, and coming up soon, we're gonna look at some Rafa jerseys. Cheers.